Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ty here, Octane Motorworks. On this episode, I'm gonna be installing an MX style seat on the Suron. So let's get to it. Spec Suron. It's got a little view window here for the battery gauge. It attaches to the battery cover and then it will tilt up. So we will have to drill a hole in the existing battery cover. So first step, we're going to need to take off the existing seat, which also means we have some of these really annoying pins to pop out. So we'll show you a close up of that. This is just gonna require some basic tools. So I got my 10 millimeter, and I'm gonna try a screwdriver to pop those pins off um, because I don't have like a, a wider blade. So we'll see how that goes. So what these are, these little plastic pins. You pop these out and then there's an insert in there that you also have to pop out. I made the mistake when I was installing this longer fender that I didn't pop them out. I didn't realize what they were and I did crack a little piece here. So you want to avoid that. Once those are out, you can kind of tilt this down and get to these two bolts. There's your 10 millimeter. Now because the seat is going to attach to the battery cover and tilt up, the fender is normally attached to the seat, so, and this is an aftermarket long, longer fender, but the stubby one works the same way. It does attach to the bottom of the seat, so I'm gonna attach this straight to the frame here. This kit provides a couple Allen screws that are affixed to the bottom, generally affixed to the bottom of the seat, so instead I'm gonna go straight through here. It's a little easier to pop those in first those in. It's a six millimeter Allen key and a 10 millimeter wrench. Once you have the fender attached to the subframe of the bike, you can slide this cover back up and reattach the pins. buttoned up it's time to pull the battery out and use a template to drill the hole in the battery cover so to drill the hole the kit comes with this little template it just fits snugly on here you'll need a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill the pilot hole and then you'll finish it with a 5 16 
support the seat, it comes with this little block of rubber that has this little groove in it. And we're gonna slide that right over this cross member of the seat from the back. Now that we've got that rubber piece in, we're gonna lower the seat down, press, make sure that it's a snug fit. We're gonna put the battery in just to make sure everything is clear. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put the battery in now that I've got the seat fastened down here. And we're just gonna push, put the seat down. And notice there is a strap on the back, so undo that Velcro strap, let it wide so you can push it down. And then press down in the middle of the seat so that the seat will lock. Make sure it's all lined up and good. This looks pretty good. You can then take this strap, Velcro strap, and tighten it up. Don't tighten it too tight so you don't damage it. And we're ready to rock and roll. Well, there it is, the moto seat. You can really get up and ride on this. This is gonna be fun to check out. As you can see right away, it gives it that really aggressive motocross look, but also gonna add some advantage to be able to really slide up in the seat and sh shift your weight on the bike. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this was helpful for you to see how to install this moto seat in case you want to get one for yourself. I'm really excited to see how this changes the riding dynamics and I'll be letting you know in future videos. If you want to support the channel, head over to OctaneMotorWorks.com. really keeps me motivated to keep making this content for you guys. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified of all future videos. I'm going to go take this for a rip and until next time, fuel your passion.